Okay, hello everybody, T Stardew Nuts here, and um, I'm not sure what the quality of this audio is going to be like. <coughs> oh god, I got hiccups, that's not Pog. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we're going to be doing a Fall Guys tier list. Can't really find many season 3 ones, so I thought may as well do it myself. Oh god, this is a very inconvenient time to be recording with hiccups, but you know, we'll, we'll get for it. Um, yeah, just tier list, all the modes. <coughs> up to snowball survival in 3.5 um... seven tiers, I can't count oh god, um... Uh, right, big fans, C tier, off the bat that's a decent note block party, just a bit boring like, you don't really bit of a waste of time big fans, um... good with the new update, that saved it hoarders is F, hoarders is terrible um, fruit shoot, good with you to says trash without, um, you put it C to tiptoe, rip, leaf fun, luck based, but there is also a bit of, bit of skill in it, um, and it's quite tense, quite late game, um, and I don't really get it often, so, <laughs> that's good, oh my god, um, Dizzy Heights, great mode, just, not much to Dizzy Heights really. It's an easy mode, but it works, you know. Um, good variations. Yeah, just a good mode. Egg Scramble. I hate Egg Scramble. Worse than Hoarders. It's just bad. It's a team game, but it's like a really bad team game. Egg Siege. Used to think this was a B tier mode when it came out. Um, no. <laughs> it's not. It's basically Egg Scramble, but better map. Um, full, ooh, probably D tier, really annoying to lose, but can be fun. Um, full Mountain, honestly, I think that's an E tier. I don't like Full Mountain, it's my least favourite final, because it is just luck, really. Um, Freezy Peak, uh, probably like high D tier. It's good, it's a really cool concept, it's just really annoying to lose. And you seem to to get it with any, like any amount of people. You can get it from thirty to fifteen, I think, which is a bit ridiculous. But yeah, it is what it is. Gate crash. Uh, ooh, do I put this D tier or E? I put it D tier. It's not E tier. No, gate crash. Is just, it's just um, it's just a little boring, to be honest. It can yeah, it just gets a bit stale. It's not. Really, hard to win. Donuts are really annoying as well. Hexagon, first S tier. Hexagon's just amazing. Just a really fun mode. Good way to end a game. Good mode. Nothing else really to say. Hit Parade, B tier. Classic obstacle course. Um, you can't really meme on it. It's kind of like one you just have to, you just have to qualify. And then, yeah, it's, it's not amazing, but it's good. It's good. Um, also, so if you're in a team of four, you're pretty much guaranteed not to make, to all make it, um, which sucks, but, you know, Hoopsie Legends, um, we'll put it below Fruit Shoot, um, yeah, these are kind of in order, these tiers, but, like, they're also kind of not, I'm kind of just, like, going with it, um, <coughs> Hoopsie Daisy, slightly worse than Hoopsie Legends, um, New variations, so which I guess is cool. Jinxed, um, it's cool. It's a fun little hunt game mode, but it's kind of luck if you win. And it just wipes half the lobby, so if you live, it's fun, but if you lose, not so much. Jump Club used to be my third favourite mode, now it's, it's just beta. It's not that interesting. Jump Showdown, another S. I don't know whether I prefer Hexagon or Jump Showdown, but it's a really good mode. It's an actually difficult jump club. And um I haven't had it with the fan yet, but that's probably going to be quite annoying. But it's also going to... People are going to die quicker on that, so that's good. Um, Night Fever, probably between Jump Club and Hip Parade. It's a really good mode, but it does have some slight annoying variations now most of which are good but the seesaws are just not it um at all but yeah I, I, it's 
really good mode. Um, yeah, not much to say about it really. Tundra Run. Where do I put it? Probably, probably just behind Gate Crash, I think. Um, you're not really going to lose unless it's second round. And if it is second round, it's just dumb. Because that ending part with the flippers, where you have to try and just, like, shove each other out the way to get onto the flippers, it's just, it's painful. Perfect match. Um, right. Probably D tier without the Whirly Gig. But then, like... S tier with the whirly gig, I don't know, I'd, or A tier, I, I'll just put it A tier because most of the time I do get the whirly gig and I really like the whirly gig, no, we'll put, we'll put it lower A tier, um, yeah, Penguin Pursuit, probably below Hoopsy Daisy, um, it's really good if you're in a team with other people, um, like an actual lobby, but with randoms you're probably gonna lose. Rock and Roll, probably my least favourite mode in the game. It's really scummy, really boring, just not entertaining at all, really. No satisfaction when you win. <laughs> roll off, another S tier. God, S tier is only finals so far. Um, yeah, probably the most intense game mode. Um, really, like, really satisfying to win. Gets very close as well sometimes. Um... Roll out, uh, probably, probably high D tier, low C tier, because like you can you can shove people off the map, which is extremely fun, but it just does get a bit boring after all. Um, Royal Fumble will dump it at a high C tier, just because you don't really have it, which and having a mode less makes it a lot more fun when you do have it, and it's one of the most intense modes. Um Seesaw it's bad. It's pretty it's pretty awful to be fair. Um when you have the variation with the seesaws at the end which are in the opposite direction to the way they normally are. Yeah, you you yeah. also people playing full guys don't know like up and down they don't know how a seesaw works. Um so that can kind of ruin it. Skifall Good mode, um, not too hard, but also like decent bit, of, decent bit of skill. Um, it's it's just a good mode. You not you don't get triggered at ski fall at all. Slime climb probably probably the best. Oh, I don't know. Pro yeah, probably the best mode in the game. Um, yeah, it's an obstacle course, but it's really tricky. Uh, and it's just fun. Apart from yellow pole campers, but um, you can often take them out on the final bit of um, slime at the end. Right, snowy scrap. Um, probably slightly worse than hoarders. Um, yeah, it's really triggering to lose, and you lose a lot on snowy scrap. So um, yeah. Oh my god, my hiccups. Um, so yeah, that's that's an FTA game mode. I don't ever want to have it again because it's lit eat game. Um but then we've got the second worst mode in the game, tail tag. Awful. Awful. You can get it with um from twenty five to ten people, I think. Like that's ridiculous. Ten pe I've had ten people tail tags multiple times. And it's just horrible. You get through like a five round game and then just bam tail tag and it's just no skill. Um, so yeah, that's why it's there. DoorDash, um, second round it sucks. Um, first round it's still pretty boring, but at least you're going to qualify. Um, but yeah, no, it's only just above Seesaw. It's not amazing. Thin Ice, um, yeah, Beta. Uh, we'll put it above Ski Fall, because it's good. Um, yeah, it's like Hexagon at worst, but it is still fun and there are some little exploits you can do like double jumping on broken tiles so that's that that's cool um team t team tail tag uh probably there um yeah it's good well no it's it's not good it's pretty bad but we're, we're going off regular tail tag here you can't get worse than that um and you're not 
really gonna lose it. It's kind of it's a team mode, really, but it's still better than actual tail tag. Wall guys, um, put it just behind Skifall. Really annoying to lose, but when you get a perfect route and get like a flipping 10 second run, it is fun. Whirly gig, uh, low eight it for me, honestly. Like, it's fun, but it's just not a challenge. It's just not that interesting. Um, Snowball Survival, uh, pro probably there. Um, the physics are a bit broken. Like, sometimes you'll get hit by the snowball and it'll just, like, roll over you and you'll go nowhere. And then other times it'll, like, not even hit you barely and just launch you out of the map. Um, so that's a bit annoying, but it is a fun game mode. I'd say it's one of the better ones they've added this season. But yeah, that's that's going to do it for the Fall Guys tier list.